Hello, shalom, hola, and we want to welcome you to Celebrity Predictions with Ashley's Top 5, and this is Ashley, my co-host here. Hi, good evening. And we have my executive producer behind the camera, Athena. Say hi, Athena. <laughs> she said hi. <laughs> I don't want to welcome my YouTube audience out there, my God. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our last one, we just got 92 hits. Uh, we got we got we had some activity last month in our uh, uh, evaluation for the month. It was we had four new subscribers. Yeah, I mean it's and, exciting. Uh, 149 views. Yeah. 149 views. I mean, we're starting out fresh right now. Um, and so as we said, if you guys can come up with anybody that you would like us to do, you know, a, a reading for, definitely yeah. drop a comment below yeah. and subscribe and share yeah. with your subscribe, friends. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, here, here's the deal, Leo. I mean, uh, if if you listen to the the uh, predictions we're making here and we're talking about, and they come true, then we would love you to come back and leave a comment and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, we also do a podcast called The Spiritual Life, which is on the same channel With you're going to be Travis on the same Kidwell. channel you're watching this. Mm -hmm. On the same channel you're watching this, you'll see it. <laughs> uh, go to our podcast. It's 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 different information. It's spiritual. It's all about that West Coast magic information. With the ghetto prophet. With the ghetto prophet, mm -hmm. Travis, you know. <laughs> but uh, because it's all about, it's not my way or your way, it's Yahweh. Yahweh. <laughs> um, and everything we have and we give thanks to this night is to the Lord God Yahweh because everything we have is powered by Him and the Holy and Divine Spirit. So be it. So be it. Um, all right, it's funny. So you, were, you said... Um, if anyone wants to follow back up to drop a comment, so I think maybe we should start the night off with what is currently going on with Britney Spears, don't you think? Okay. okay. Yeah, we can do Britney. So last time, Travis actually predicted that she was going to have a pretty rough time in the future. And it's funny because, you know, free Britney happened. She's finally free. And now she's getting accusations of a battery charge, basically, from an employee from inside the home. So my question is, do you think that they're now just trying to plant things on Britney to make her look incapacitated, basically? I don't know. We'll, we'll ask. I mean, honestly, I mean, I really don't know Britney, but I know that, as we were talking earlier, I think that she's had some kind of a mental breakdown, you know? You can tell in the Vegas show. And, um, yeah, her face and... You know, um, I was really critical on her body because I'm just a man. But you no, know. ignore this. Man. Exactly, you're just a man. I was like, ignore you. <laughs> ignore me, please. But because uh, she needs to get back in the gym and get her head straight. But no, the girls had a lot of pressure. I didn't even realize until talking to Ashley earlier that uh, that Britney spit uh, uh, her uh, uh, little girl. Uh, Schoolgirl clothes okay. video. She was sixteen. She was, yeah, because he was saying, "Oh, she looked really good in the video," and I was like, she, "I think she was like sixteen years old." And then he's all, "No way!" And I'm all, "Let's check." So we looked, and I was semi disgusted. Crazy. That it was. Crazy. I was semi disgusted that they sex sexified her, and we were so young watching her on TRL. I had no. I like, thought she was at least twenty one, Your Honor. It's just <laughs> salacious. Anyways, so no, but yeah, she set herself set herself up as a sex symbol. Adult men see that? that, and they're also attracted to it. Ugh, so disgusting. Ew. But anyway, no mo moving right along, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, we're just trying to keep it, just trying to keep it real here, you know. Anyways, like I said, ghetto profit. Yeah, there we go. So basically, all right. <laughs> so dragon. what are you channeling for Britney Spears? Like, well, let's look happen? at that. You know, let's look at that. I mean, we did do her uh, numbers before. Let's do them again, real quick here. While we're on camera, let's see. And on here. top of that, that's for the people that might be tuning in right now too. If you haven't seen the well, previous. she's in a six life. She's a six life path number, six incarnation. In my philosophy, she's got some control issues. You know, she she has to be an authority at what she does for a living, which is she is an artist for sure. Uh, but there's with that four, there's also going to be issues of money for her, negative, positive, mm -hmm. always. Um, she has a two in her vibration, which means that she has a very difficult time expressing herself intimately, and it's difficult for her to balance her emotions. Are you sure it's not the lithium? I'm not sure about that, but I'm, this, this is natural. No, this is natural. Really? This is, her na this is her natural numerology. So, oh, true. You're right. You're right. Because okay. I was just thinking she's pretty messed up from a lot no, of No, she, she probably had some emotional imbalances from the beginning that nobody ever knew about. I mean... Mm -hmm. Uh, she's not an old soul. She's not a young soul. In my philosophy, she's a progressed soul. Uh, expression is important for her. And she expresses herself for a living. Um, 
And she is a Sag, you know. I'm a Sag, and a Sag is usually pretty positive and optimistic. Definitely. Um, and so I give that to her also. But as we were also talking, you know, she just, she did uh, Vegas for, for how many years? Oh, the residency? At least two. I mean, I at least can say two. Yeah, and and so, you know, that, that and we, we talked before, I, I said that before you even gave me the information. She had a nervous breakdown doing that. So I think that she was being forced to perform like a circus. Well, I think when she signed show. a contract, yeah, you're forced because if you don't, you got to give that money back. Well, yeah, but I think that it was her dad pushing her to do these things, even though she didn't want to. So she was like know. being forced even. From I don't the know back because when end. she was looking good doing those videos and she was dancing, I mean, she's an artist. She's had a good time. You know what I'm saying? She was looking good in the. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was. Uh, that's probably be, anyway. Continue. Sorry, mom. Continue, please. Travis. Anyway, yeah, going. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we just saw Toxic. I'm sorry. We just saw the video Toxic. It was very toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, love of God. <laughs> All right. So moving right along. Uh, her cycle is a one cycle. I think we talked about that before. Wait. Hold on here. Yeah, she's in a one cycle now from her last birthday, I think. Let me just double check this. And I apologize if you're watching this for the second time because I know we did Britney Spears from a previous video, but the battery charge, uh, charge no, situation yeah. was kind of really, it seemed pretty fast after the court situation. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, are they setting her up to make her look Well, here, yes unstable. and no on some of She's in a nine cycle. Excuse me. I, I kept saying she was in one. She's going to go into a one cycle on her birthday this year, thank God. But the December. past three years have been very challenging for her. Oh, December. She's Second. in a one cycle, a nine cycle now, which means Angel Gabriel is showing her who she can trust and who she cannot trust. Mm -hmm. So that's challenging, very, very challenging. And she could be her own worst enemy still if she's I'm not sure careful. I'm sure she has, you know. I'm sure she has really um, bad thoughts. I, I mean, you know, but that could be. And you know what? She naturally suffers from depression naturally. Yeah. Naturally, as all sixes do, unfortunately. You know, mm -hmm. depression, melancholy, or things of that nature. Uh, six can bring that energy in where people want to be controlled, uh, trying to control them, which is already going on with her father. Mm -hmm. But let's ask here if she really beat this guy up. Uh, basically, the lawyer, her lawyer, that's pretty much putting the statement out is letting us know that it was a situation over a cell phone, and I'm not sure if maybe the, the employee was taking pictures that Brittany didn't want, but there was no physical harm done to either party. So I really feel like they're blowing it out of proportion personally. Well, and that very well could be true. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing like what a hype, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she, if you guys haven't looked on Instagram lately, I just actually saw about 10 minutes before the show that she's just wiling out like just showing no, I, I everything fo I, I follow Britney Spears on Instagram I was because actually shocked to hear that I'm a big fan of her earlier Am music and, and some of her newer music I mean um, honestly um, I've always thought she was a little cutie to begin with but here's the deal you know she has millions of people following her mm -hmm. um, she should be I mean yeah when you're seeing her with her almost showing her boobs and stuff and her no top on I, I was going oh my god what is she doing um, I don't think those were the words, but continue. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> continue. And that, was, was that bikini bottoms or panties? I'm not sure, but I mean, in today's world, that really doesn't matter, you know. Um, but for her it being really a super, but I know, but for her being a superstar, I mean, we all have expectations of some kind of standard, and right now, I don't think she's meeting that standard. I'm just being honest, you know. I mean, I mean, maybe. And I honor her. She needs to live her own life, you know. And yeah, I, I don't mean. Say, like, girl, and I say that in love. I say that in love. She wants to have a family, and so she, I was like, let her get married. Let her sh show her body. I feel like she probably feels like a, a caged lion that just was just was set free. So I mean, do your thing, girl, but just don't yeah. do it for too long. It's fine. Here, here's my problem with this: mm -hmm. if you really don't want to be bothered and you want to start a family, then why are you being on Instagram? You know, you've already sold millions of value, uh, you know, hundreds of millions of albums, probably your your multi-millionaire. Because I mean, she likes the You don't the really attention. need. Okay, thank you. She likes the attention. <laughs> thank you. And I mean, to be honest, that was the only form of communication for her, though. You know, between the outside world, she looked like a prisoner in her home. Well, that could be yes and no. I mean, I don't know. We don't know too much about that. But it's over with now. You know, she's going to be in a one cycle on her birthday this year, which promotes that, um, that there's new beginnings coming for her. 
That's exciting. I'm excited for you. Very Brittany. exciting. Mm -hmm. Britney Spears. Did she hit the employee? Britney Spears. Britney Spears. I asked the great spirit of the tarot present with me to stay for a twin site. I want to know if Britney Spears really hit the employee that she's being charged with for battery. You always want to give thanks to the Oracle, as I do this night. With the information we're going to pull out of the air here for everybody. Did Brittany really hit this employee with this battery charge she has now? Is this real? Is this true? Got to light that sage. I just don't like how it doesn't stay lit sometimes. Yeah. It smells absolutely... Magnificent, though. Now that said, no. Yeah, I didn't think she did. And it feels like she's going to be squeezed for some money. Yeah, we already know. So we're going to say, Shame sorry, Britt. You. Yeah, maybe you're Shame trusting the wrong you, people. For I would say you have people around you right now, Brittany, you can't trust. People you could be trying to work with or do things with. Uh, with your employees, you got another one there you can't trust. It's all about money with these guys. Mm -hmm. These are all false accusations against her. Uh, and I'll go to testify on stand, Your Honor, that <laughs> you know the Divine what? Spirit says that she is innocent of this charge. She was trying to get in the courtroom. <laughs> well, moving on, moving on. The spiritual courtroom. This is the courtroom of Dragon. And Dragon says she's innocent of those charges. And the accuser shall pay by the Dark Lords. No, kidding. Oh, hell no. Trav, where are we I'm going with kidding. this? Yeah, I'm just kidding, yeah. So speaking of court I was, cases. I was just trying to get the executive producer's attention. Speaking um, of court cases, hello. we're going to go ahead and, hold on. We're going to move on over Jeez. to um, Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj. Kenneth so I'm sure I've never even heard of Kenneth Petty. Athena, because he's have a, you heard he's, of Kenneth Petty? He's a nobody. Like he's, he's an average Joe that came from her, I guess, her borough from where she grew okay. up. And she wanted to marry somebody that knew her. But basically, he's charged as a sex offender. So what's currently going on between them is that... Um, they want to move to California. He has to register as a sex offender, and they've been harassing. And she's staying with him, huh? She had a. She just had a baby with him. She's ride or die for this man. So here's the thing: they have offered to pay the girl that he supposedly raped when she was 16. Um, I think only fifty thousand dollars. But the harassment's gotten so bad, she finally went to court to sue them. And so now, Kenneth Petty is actually trying to counter suit. New York right now to get that off of his record because they said that they were dating at the time. It's not like some random rape. I think he actually did do it. But my question for them is, is the court going to rule in their favor in regards of this case? Um, the the countersuit from the woman that he allegedly raped and the harassment okay. charges? All right. We, well, we need to make this simple. I hope that makes sense. Uh, well, I, 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 you know, I'm doing this. I'm trying to listen. I, I've been listening. But, uh, let me focus here. Um, Kenneth Petty, ninth time here on Earth, has a problem with being Peter Panish at times. Oh, yeah. You and, uh, you know, draws women that are immature, you know. And uh, that's been part of his problem. So you're saying uh, Nicki Minaj is immature. She did date Safari. Possibly. I mean, he, there's cautions always about him making the right choices with love. Um, you know, he can be... Hmm. Um, kind of oversensitive. He is an Aries, the victim, okay? Um, or maybe claiming that they're the victim. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, victim's the word with Aries. But, uh, yeah, you know, at some point, he's uh, he's got himself in some kind of trouble. He's in a seven cycle now, and only in darkness can light shine. And see, he, the, the problem with him is that in his seven cycle, um he didn't even get a technical victory. He still got convicted. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that means he's on the downward spiral. Okay. If he would have got a technical victory on that and some kind of feeling of success, it'd be different for him. But that just set him up for his next cycle to be negative, to be very honest with you. Because of him actually, I guess I just want to make sure I'm understanding you correctly. So because he actually did it, you're feeling so. Well, I have to ask that question. Down. I'm just telling you his numerology, regardless of what he did or didn't do. This is where he's at. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a time where he's either got a, he could either be going through career crisis right now, midlife career crisis with career, or he's thinking about how he can expand his career. Well, you know, he's thought about how he can remove his legal problems, but he can't. He's already convicted. 
he's already having to register. So he, I guess he's still trying to fight it, you know, and that's the thing. And I think what's oh, you want to know if he's going to get his appeal? Yeah, no. So basically, the girl that he raped, their defense is saying he's saying in his defense that they were dating. But at the the girls like on TikTok, she's on videos across the internet crying because her family's being harassed. She's had to move multiple times. She's actually had to move in an undisclosed location. Oh, uh, wow, man. Why don't they just call the police or something and get some protection? Because, no, it doesn't. Oh, my God. They run deep. Like, they have, they run, those people run deep. It's almost like the mob. What you know about rolling down in a day? Well, I, would, I don't think it's funny. This lady's in a lot of turmoil. She's really. All right. So. Yeah, she's really upset. So, where am I? So, what's the question? And so, the question is, is, is this individual going to win the case? Are they going to. Are they going to lose the case, the rape charges case? Kenneth Petty. Kenneth Petty. We seek to know if he's going to lose his case. Yes. Or, or win his case. No, no, please lose. All right, Kenneth Petty. Kenneth Petty. Kenneth Petty. I seek to know for Kenneth Petty this night. I seek to know for him. If he's going to lose his court case that he's uh, going through right now with this girl that he raped, alleged, Kenneth Petty, Kenneth Petty, Kenneth Petty, we seek to know if he's going to lose his court case, his current court case going on with this 16-year-old girl that supposedly he raped, yes or no. To yeah, they're fighting me tonight. The spirits are fighting us tonight, Ashley. I wonder that. I mean, is he going to lose? It said yes. I, I, I yeah. It's and this isn't his first time either being accused of this. Mm. You know, it's crazy. Or is that something she, of this nature. In a weird way, I think she knows exactly what kind of animal she got involved with, and she's still trying to stay. And her brother also is in jail right now for a uh, statutory rape of a young woman. So it's just odd she's in this predicament where it seems to be a reoccurring theme. I'm not saying it's her fault. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, Nikki herself is a much younger soul than Kenneth. Um, Nikki, you know, uh, this is her fourth time here on Earth. She is a control freak. She's very mentally independent, can be a little oversensitive, knows how to express herself, but does have temper tantrums. Um, she's in a sixth life cycle right now, which means that she's expressing herself now more than ever. That could be with Kenneth. Could also be some mixed emotions as far as family, uh, opinions, things of that nature with family. Uh, I also see this could be a time where she's trying to create more beauty in her household or her physical world. Next. Moving on. All right. I guess Moving. the answer is that for everybody. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Who else do we have? I know. Oh, you know what? This was actually a topic that Travis brought up because we came across it. Um, so Jennifer Hudson, he, he absolutely loves her. He thinks she's super talented. Um, she just got handpicked by Aretha Franklin to actually – be you know perform she as her the movie. Did in the movie yeah. yeah 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 she she got handpicked yeah. for this movie so i guess since you wanted to give a little bit of insight in this you know into her life you know you want to yeah, just kind of let us know, well, you know what's I mean, next for her career her acting career I mean, first of all i love aretha franklin okay and who doesn't i grew up on soul music in the ghetto okay mm -hmm. and um she's a powerhouse she's a legend obviously we don't have to we don't have to go on about that but um Jennifer Hudson, let's look at her numerology, has had a lot of tragedy around her, but she has a voice. She's extremely I mean, talented. My God, I, I'm always An impressed when mother. I hear her sing. She's so always, cute. Always, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, she's just went from doing music to doing Well, she's a 31 for her. Her and Nicki Minaj will get along good. No. <laughs> because uh, they're both fours. Yeah, and they, they're both 31 fours. They're both very mentally independent. They both share the same angels, Zod Kael. Uh, Kenneth's angels, 
Gabriel. Um, we're going back to Jennifer. Yeah, so she's still kind of a toddler sometimes in the adult body. Um, let's look at her cycle. Seven cycle. So a lot of transition. I feel for her because of her fame with the movie and the way she's been getting recognition that this is now expanding her career, you know. And uh, she'll be doing um, more roles, more more higher theatrical coming up here, I feel. Like maybe like Broadway or something? Oh, I'm sure she'll do Broadway. There's I no think she might mind. have already done Broadway. Yeah, I can actually look that she up. she will, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I definitely see her taking on some bigger roles. Because I really want the um, best for her. I feel like she has the potential to be an A-list celebrity. I mean, like, if she... I feel like some people think she is, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I don't do. think... You think so? Yeah. I mean, if she, she did sing hear, against you know. Beyonce, she's just, not, I guess, not in the public eye as often. Yeah, and really, I feel like I said, her career is going to pick up this next year. I hope so. I really I, do. I, I feel we're going to see her in some movies, and she'll be doing some expansion. Because, you know, the, the music, she has her own fans. Getting new fans happens. Mm -hmm. But she isn't, you know... She's not in the most popular music, you know what I'm saying, anymore. Yeah, exactly. I think a lot of things have changed from when she first popped up on American Idol. It, we're not yeah. in American Idol days anymore yeah. right now. All yeah. righty then. Yeah, well, you know, if it ain't rap or, you know, I mean, even rock is almost fading away. I we got to keep like rock and roll alive, ladies and gentlemen. I, I know, like, country's also having a hard time hard time right now too yeah, 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 and it's, little it's, Nas X comes out yeah, and just it, messed it, everything all yeah, up <laughs> infiltrated the country music so this one I know is gonna ruffle your feathers just a tidbit tidwill <laughs> okay, doing next? Um, so um Caitlyn Jenner I don't know if you guys have been seeing Caitlyn Jenner ladies and gentlemen he used I, to be a guy who won the Olympics he, he did he was a triathlon what was his real name metal, uh, i can't remember now bruce jenner that's right bruce jenner mm -hmm. used to be on the cereal i used to eat as a kid you Growing know up, you know i'm you know i'm gonna respect her her wishes and refer to her yeah you know her. i'm not gonna uh but, i mean honestly you know it's your thing baby if that's what you want to be be that I but mean. so like have you not seen the video that's been circulating um i know she was standing on top of the hill and she had her her camera out and she had st made a statement along the lines of oh look at the the wall that Trump never finished and that there was somebody actually hopping over the border, um, you know, crossing into California. And so I know that she's going to be running for governor. So I was just thinking, I don't know if this is the best way to, um, I don't know, reach your, your target audience or your audience, whatever. I feel like yeah. it's a little hypocritical because she wanted people to stand with her. And then now she's watching you know, illegal I, aliens and posting them come into this? the country. Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, you know, honestly. So what's um, what's the future of her political career? Yeah, we'll look at that. You know, Caitlyn Jenner, seventh time here on earth. That's the that's the, the greatness of an athlete. That's the number of success and great success. A thirty four seven has to be an authority. What they do, which they have been. Honestly, when I first found out about the transformation, I almost thought it was a gag, because I felt like he's trying to get attention and he's making money now. He more was than going ever. out in the seventies, like undercover, so, just so he could live his life in private. So let's look at his cycle, 8, 9, 10, 11. He's in a sixth life cycle. He's been probably a little bit depressed. Um, he goes into a seventh cycle on his birthday. I don't see Ka Caitlyn Jenner being the governor, but let's ask the divine spirit. There's a lot of liberals. There's a lot of liberals in California. Yeah, yeah I mean... Honestly, I, I'm, I love Ga uh, Gavin Newsom personally myself. I don't think there's anything he's done any, anything wrong. He's keeping California going as far as I'm concerned, but that's just my opinion. It's like everybody else has it wrong. I haven't yeah. done enough research to either be a, for him or against him, but I don't. In my opinion, the vibe I get, he's not a bad guy. Yeah, no. that's just me. He's got a nice family, you know. Honestly, I I'm an independent patriot, but if I had to pick a party right now, I'd be Democrat, only because they're helping the American people. They've got policies in place to help the people. Mm -hmm. They're not just thinking about politics and who's right and who's wrong and, and whatnot. And, you know, living with Donald Trump is living in the past because that's what he is. He's past. He ain't coming back. In 2016, I predicted that he had a one-term president, and I was right. And I, I need a lot of people knew that. Yeah, you know, yeah. so, I mean, it is You got what it all is. serious. I was like, we weren't taking it politically. Yeah, there we go. I know. He's running for governor. That's why, yes, huh. okay. I know, I hate to get into politics. But anyway. I knew I told you it was going to ruffle his feathers, right? Yeah, yeah, right? you're right. You're <laughs> so, like... She's so good. She's so good. She's so good. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a reading on Caitlyn Jenner. I seek to know for Caitlyn Jenner this night. Uh, if he's going to become the governor of California during this recall. If he'll be voted in as governor on this new uh, election, this recall election they're doing right now. I always thank the great spirit of the tarot for its insight, its own energy. It is, it is a divine oracle for sure. And again, we seek to know for Caitlyn Jenner if he will become the governor to this recall. He'll be voted in as governor, yes or no? I mean, really, I, I, you know, I just, I don't see it. There's. I don't necessarily yeah. either, but you and know is what? He Republican when he, or he has, what is he? Democrat? He has Kardashian and Jenner money. He has a lot of money. Yeah. Of course buy, he does. You could buy your way into anywhere. In fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor of California. I Trump, love Arnold Schwarzenegger. Trump was the president. So Caitlyn Jenner becoming the governor of California isn't too far fetched. Let's be real. You know what I mean? Yeah, real. What was that movie, Idiocracy, something along those lines? And uh, Terry Crews you know, was the president. <laughs> yeah, it's, go <laughs> it's going to take another decade. Uh, because right now we have this grand of the GOP, which is the grand old party, which is dominant white and has white thoughts and promotes white privilege. And um, exactly. like I said, I don't see them putting any policies into place. I think... Ja, Caitlyn Jenner might have some good ideas, maybe has some great intentions. Mm -hmm. She does, she does. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like uh, she's got secret enemies, people who would be blocking her on this. I feel between now and the next 30, 45 days, she's going to find out that no, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I got that. Fine. And she spent a lot of money. She spent a lot of money. You know, I, I kind of feel that for her to do this, she went kind of rogue on her. So I don't feel she had a lot of. It's a not backing, an investment, you know? basically. Yeah. She would have to like basically fund her own campaign. Yeah, maybe she would have to start somewhere smaller. I actually was thinking that as you were doing yeah. that, I'm like, I can maybe see like <clears throat> maybe becoming like a town mayor or something, or uh, an know? assemblyman. Yeah, would be a good place to start. Then why maybe don't you go there, the... Caitlin? That yeah. might be a good yeah. spot yeah. for yeah, you to Caitlin. start. Well, why not? I mean, if you really want it, <clears throat> you know. How much time do we have, Athena? Perfect. All right. So this one was just <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So oh, I'm just man. Completely on the fly. Yeah. So OJ Simpson's back in the news oh. again. Like, and I was like, well, this guy will just not fucking stop. This guy won't stop. Basically, I, I think, as you guys know, he recently, he, well, not recently, a few years ago, he murdered this guy named Ron. I start his what last name. Did? Yeah, he murdered a guy like maybe unintentionally, but he settled for like thirty million dollars with the guy's dad, and um now the dad. Where the coming. hell was I when that happened? But then like the, um the I mean it kind of happened fast like it it just happened fast. That, it was, like, that, a while that ago. was before he went to prison for the uh, the theft of his. Uh, a memorabilia stuff in Vegas? Oh, well, that's what this whole court case is about is assets because I guess he's trying to uh, he's trying to get him for $70 million worth of assets so OJ's back in court. But that led Who's me... Oh, so somebody's trying to get that from OJ? From OJ Simpson. But it led me to my question because this might be the only time I'll ever have to ask. Did he really kill Nicole? Uh-oh. I'm just yeah. I have to ask I have worked I have worked on a couple of murder cases in my life he actually has that was there was a few interesting stories that you have told me and I'm, I yeah. don't think I would want to be in that energy it seems a little yeah. too heavy I really don't promote that I, I don't advertise it mm -hmm. but when somebody comes to me and they've lost a loved one I have no I, I can't do nothing but help them I won't even charge them for my time because I really don't believe in profiting off somebody's death like that you but, said if um, it's really spiritual you yeah. You won't be charging people like a thousand dollars for a reading, basically. Yeah, I mean it's tough. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are money hungry, and if you mm -hmm. create such a price for yourself where nobody can afford you, then you're not really being a service to anybody. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Be home dancing. Spirituality is oh. free. And for those of you watching the channel right now, hopefully you're still with us here on Celebrity Predictions. Um, you know. We need your subscriptions before we do this yes. on Simpson, man. I mean, come on. Where else are you going to get this kind of entertainment? I, I mean, to be honest, <laughs> now that he's back in the news, you know, if people are thinking it. They're like, did he still, people still want to know. And then he come up with a book that says, I didn't do it, but if I did do it, like what a, what a dick thing to do. Let's be real. That was so mean. Yeah. Talk about the level of disrespect. 
Oh, wow. He's a 37. When is his birthday? He's, oh, a, he's a one. He's a cancer. He's yeah. emotional. Okay, hold on here. I know, it's such an odd question. I yeah, get asked well, a lot you know, of things. Actually, it's, it's amazing. He has instant karma. When he does something bad, he gets caught, and that's been proven over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. What happened for O.J. Simpson, he let his lower self take over his higher self, and that's where he dropped the ball. Um, <laughs> let's go to his current cycle Crunch. here. <laughs> He's in a three-cycle now, semi-completion, so um, maybe this, is, had this has been going on for a while. Him just murdering and... Yeah. I mean, did this happen a couple of years ago? Uh, what this assets case? Yeah, that's this. like today. Like that's happening right now. Currently. I know, but did they start something two years ago against him? I mean, is there? Still you know something? what? To, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't doubt it. He's always in court for some crap, like like you said, the memorabilia situation. Yeah, we'll catch him on occasion, just popping up in the media. All right, so we're looking at Nicole Simpson. We uh, got her birthday. Her, her birthday, yeah. She's and, a Taurus. And, and God bless her soul, her spirit, her family, and her loved ones. Um, second time here on Earth, real young soul. Was um, Nicole or, or, or OJ? That's Nicole. He's first um, time here. Her second. They're both young souls. Ooh. So this was kind of like a playground. Yeah. Of uh, what year did she die? Can you pull up what year she died? Um. Yeah. Actually, it's something. We're like gonna find out what cycle she was in when she died. Unfortunately. Um. But yeah, she young. Oh, so June twelfth, nineteen ninety four. So let's see here. So in Gemini season. So, oh, she was in a two cycle when she died. So, uh, balance, trying to keep everything in balance. She was rebuilding her life at that time, and uh, just got on her own. So that was tragic. That's very tragic. All right, let's look at this because there's been a lot of speculation, you know. Um, and this is O.J. Simpson with Nicole Simpson. O.J. Simpson with Nicole System. <laughs> Simpson. <laughs> Thank you. Beat the system. Yeah, I would like some sage, please. <laughs> yes, uh, light, absolutely. Light some sage. And for those of you watching, is light some sage. No. <laughs> Honestly, I was just talking to Travis before we got on the show today, and I was like, we're not even in Mercury retrograde, and everyone's going through some Shit's shit. Going down. I was like, what is happening? The world is chaotic. And I just want to let everyone know that, like, please send positive vibes and extra love to the country of Haiti. Um, you know, send love, support, and peace over to Afghanistan. The atrocities that are currently happening are absolutely atrocious. So, you know, whatever we can do to be able to help, even at a small level, at a sending old clothes, make sure you guys do that. The case was interesting. I mean, it was. This actually said no, but that might not be a relevant question now. Well, the thing is, is that I don't. Did they even catch anybody in the case? Basically, because the, the glove didn't fit, so he acquit. Like, <laughs> Here, here's the problem we so, have with, with O.J. Simpson. There was so many domestic violent calls on him mm -hmm. that he walked away from because of the uh, the system we have of. Of celebrities and how they treat celebrities better than other people and I'm gonna ask one more time here for OJ Simpson did he commit murder did he murder or did he pay somebody to have her murdered that had to have been the next thing the next best thing right paying somebody so he didn't actually get his hands dirty yeah you know maybe they went after him for the wrong reason so you're saying that they could have probably got him on something else well yeah I mean yeah, I mean, look at it. There was blood on his car. I mean, he grabbed money, was leaving the country. He knew he did something wrong. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, it was honestly, too suspicious. Yeah, no, come on. A man who didn't do it would be crying, begging for justice to find out who did it. You Don't know, he wrote that book. He's crazy. Yeah. You crazy cancers. I'm sure by this time, if you've heard me, I think everyone's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he murdered her. He murdered her. And there you have it. Take he that to the assets yeah, case. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> And I'm not right. laughing about the murder, but No, it's OJ sad. Simpson. It's sad, but yeah, no, he murdered his wife, and it's unfortunate that you know, he got away with that on some level, but that doesn't mean his life's over. What's he going through now, a legal issue? Oh, yeah, like the assets case. Like, he killed Let me somebody. Ask here for, Actually, hold on. I'm going to just give us I'm the I'm going to ask here for O.J. Simpson this night if he's going to win his assets case. Or this case, uh, this legal problem with his assets. I don't know for O.J. Simpson. How are we doing, executive producer? O.J. Simpson. She's here, but she's not here, ladies and gentlemen. O.J. Simpson. He's gonna, he's gonna win this case. In regards to his assets, this house from this murder he had committed. Oh, I just don't even stay on top of this guy names. Just seems to be one thing after the other for him. It does every time, every yeah. time. It said he might win his case on that. We'll see. Hmm. There could be some guidelines that protects him. We'll see. Yeah, it says as previously reported, O.J. Simpson was ordered in 1997 to pay 33.5 million after he was find, found liable in a civil case over the killing of Ron. And the last name of Ron was Goldman. Ron Goldman. Yeah, He's I remember just that. killing people. So I, I said like a few years ago. That was yeah, you know, here's a the whole problem. two yeah. decades back. Yeah, you know, maybe <laughs> at some point uh, it's not going to go as they want uh, on some level against OJ. Uh, you know, he got through this before, you know. And you know, he has instant karma, but he gets out of shit all the time. It's like... Yeah. What is this about? Well, like, there, there's some legal technicalities there. I mean, he just has uh, money to pay good lawyers at this point, basically. You know, and there's something legally, technically, uh, that's going on. So, I, didn't he pay pay the family money already? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty three point so. five, and now he's going after him for an, uh, an additional seventy yeah. million, yeah. I believe. I don't, I don't see him getting that. All righty then. Well, thank you. Thank you, Travis. As always, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know that was a little interesting. Like we said, if you guys have any questions, comments, concern, please feel free to. Where's your email, Travis Tidwell? Travis Tidwell podcast at gmail dot com. We've got. Um, you can leave a, a comment right here on the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You can contact Ashley at the Pi Pisces Life Coach. Yes, Pisces on Life Instagram. Coach on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I am one sacred dragon on Instagram, but go to my website, Travis Tidwell dot us. Uh, this isn't a podcast, so, you know, I do have a podcast you'll see on my channel. Uh, it's also on Spotify, iTunes. Uh, I also have a couple songs on my channel. Check them out. I have an album on I, uh, excuse me, Spotify and iTunes mm -hmm. and Pandora and, and other places. And, and that's and, definitely and, more for people that are curious about what Travis is about and his yeah, group and it, the it, spirituality. Yeah, and it's very cutting-edge music, spiritual Kabbalah mm -hmm. with, with rap beats on it. It's it's kind of amazing music as far as I'm concerned. I was thinking about like the, the good stuff, not the album. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's been played all over the world. People have bought it, and I'm just promoting it, baby. Um, but well, yeah. well, I guess till next time. I guess so. It always seems so quick for us. It does, I know. We hang out before the show, you know, so we get Talk to spend some life. time together. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. But we just want to, I only hope and pray that everything I've shared with everybody would be a blessing, a benefit, and a service, and that everything would, would, would manifest as we see it here tonight. We want to thank all of you for tuning in to Celebrity Podcast. And I yes, want to thank, thank Ashley. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You know, thank you she, for she's me. been just a great person in my life, Aye. you know. <laughs> and of course, without Athena, this wouldn't be possible without I my love daughter Athena. Athena. Thank you. The executive producer, who I named after the goddess Athena, damn it. She is a goddess. That's right. And I want to thank the Lord God, Yahweh, Sacred Dragon, Hermes. But I want to thank all of you. And I want to say, God bless you all, your family, your friends, your pets, your loved ones, and planet Earth. Peace and love. So be it. So be it.